So this is how you use the taskbar in Active Inspire. We will be focusing on where my mouse is going around it. So let's get started. This button is for, you can draw things in the background. For example, I drew, I'm drawing a happy face. To get back, you press the button again. This button is for movie tools. There's a bunch of files, for example, cameras and screen recording, more tools, and stuff like this. To get back, you press return to flip charts. These two buttons make you change your slides. For example, it says right here, next page. And then it says right here, previous page. You can also check it right here of which page you're on. This button, if the button is green, there is a video. If the button is blue, there is a pop-up. And if it's gray, there's nothing. This button's for teachers. Well, it's kind of like active engage, but yeah, it can let your students do questions. For example, you can make a do a text question or multiple choice or a true or false. So these buttons are your colors. You can change the color of your pen, highlighter, fill in, shapes, and other things. For example, if I click on beige, I made a line like this. And if I click on green, I made a line like this. So these buttons are for your fonts. Right now I'm on 4 and you can make it all the way to 0 to 100. Like this is 100 and right here it's 0. And then this button to your mouse if you want to do anything in the background. For example, I can, get, I can just click on this button and move my sticky notes around. And yeah. So this button is for your tools. It's kind of like the taskbar itself, but it has more options. Like for example, your launch, active view, or math tools, or camera. And then this one tool is your pen. And then this button is your highlighter. This button is your eraser. And then this button is your fill-in. Click on anywhere you want and it will fill it in. This button is your shapes, or these. Um, it says line change space or you can have any of these lines and you can change the color of the inside or change the color of the outside outline right here. For example, I click on square and put yellow as an inside and beige as an outside. I can make a square like this. And then these buttons are for more lines. You can make curvy lines or lines that has dots in it. And then this button is, you can take things from your file. For example, I can take one of my files out, like something called the racetrack. I can open the file and it goes. This button is your text. Click on anywhere you want and type anything you want. And then this button is for your clear stuff. For example, annotations, objects, grid, background, and page. There's also buttons right here to help you for a shortcut. And then this button resets the whole page so that there's nothing there. And then these two buttons are undo and redo. For example, I can undo reset page like this. And I can redo and it'll become like this. And this button is your save, so you can save your file of what you just did. And then this button's paste if you copy something from Word or PowerPoint. And then lastly, this button is to delete your whole thing if you don't want anything from here. And so this is how you use the taskbar from Active Inspire.